So I wanted to try to give you a little bit, a little bit better idea of, of entropy and, and also kind of start a review of the course. And I, I, my review of the course is going to be a backwards review, I guess, because I, I want to start with entropy. And I want you to think about that first. And so I'm going to try to help you connect in, in a slightly different way the coin flipping that we did with uh, equilibrium. And, and so that'll be talking about the, the microscopic view of entropy first, which is in some sense you know, one of the last things we've done. And then we'll go backwards through the course a little bit. So my question for you first is about coin flipping. Um, suppose I have 100 coins, 100 coins sitting here, 80 of them are heads. And the other 20 are tails. And I'm going to pick up one of them at random, one of the 100 coins, grab one of them at random, and flip it. So I want you to think about those possibilities, not figure out what exactly what I did, but think about the possibilities because that one that you flip, whichever one it is, it came up either heads or tails. <laughs> if it was a tails that you picked and it came up heads, then you have more heads than you did. You have 81 heads. If it was a tails that you picked and it came up tails, then you still have 80 heads. If it was a heads that you picked and it came up tails, then you've switched it and so now you only have 79 heads. And if it was a heads that you picked and it came up heads, then again you're back to 80 again. So what I'd like, yeah? So the 80 coins and the 20 coins, uh, is that the result of a previous random? That's the starting state. That's the starting state. I, whether I did it randomly, if I put out 80 and 20 and I ask you whether I threw them randomly or not, what would, what would your guess be? No. no, probably I laid them out. But that's what I did. Well, it'd be whether or not the coin is biased. We, we, we always have to make some sort of an assumption in statistics. Always. And the assumption with coins is always going to be an unbiased coin. 50% heads, chance of heads, 50% chance of tails. And in fact, our assumption in in thermodynamics or in what's better called statistical mechanics, our assumption will always be that for an isolated system, every single microstate is equally likely. With that assumption, all, we can calculate all sorts of things that turn out right. So that's a good assumption as far as we know. So. I'm only asking you to compare two probabilities, 81 and 29. I don't care about 80. All I want you to think about is the probability of having 81 is larger than the probability of 79, or 79 is larger than 81, or 81 and 79 are equally probable. Talk about it all you want. 